A deep vein thrombosis, or DVT, is a blood clot that forms in a deep vein in the body. Once an underlying cause occurs, such as vessel damage or blood stasis, platelets collect at the cusps of the vein's valve. Clotting factors then activate and produce fibrin, forming a mesh that traps white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. And this leads to clot formation and growth. This clot can eventually break off, becoming an embolus, and may travel to the lungs, causing a pulmonary embolism, or PE. A DVT can occur in any deep vein, but it's most common in the calves, like the perineal or posterior tibial veins, or in the thighs, such as the popliteal and superficial femoral veins. Virchow's triad describes the three main risk factors for developing a DVT. First, hypercoagulability. This is an increased tendency for blood to clot. It can result from conditions and medications like sepsis, dehydration, heparin-induced thrombocytopenia, or HIT, oral contraceptives, and genetic factors like factor V Leiden. Venous stasis means slowed or stagnant blood flow. This can occur due to immobilization, like during airplane travel or having a sedentary lifestyle, recent surgery, peripheral vascular disease, or pregnancy. And lastly, vessel damage, which is damage to the blood vessel walls. This can be caused by central lines, IV lines, IV drug use, blood draws, and trauma or injury, all of which can activate the coagulation cascade. Let me know if you'd like a part two and check out the full study sheet and the nursing school success bundle.